Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela or Miss Marin. Um, today I wanted to do a little story time about this guy that followed me into my doctor's appointment. So this happened to me when I was about 17, I think. No, I was actually 18. I was 18 years old. I was probably a senior or a late junior. I had to be at my doctor's appointment and it was about 3.30 in the afternoon. I was racing back and forth in between lanes. And so I pulled up and I pulled into the parking spot. And I noticed that one of the cars that was in line with me as I was driving, like, was in the same parking lot as me. And most people probably wouldn't even fucking notice, probably wouldn't even think twice, but my mama always raised me to be aware of my surroundings and I was super aware because I knew that that car was, he wasn't one of the ones that I cut off, like I just, he was behind one of the cars that I cut off though. So I recognized his truck instantly and <coughs> we'll call him Bob. So I sat in my car even though I had like two minutes to be into my appointment, checked in and waiting for my counselor. I was sitting in my car and I was like, fuck man, I know this guy is about to say some shit about how I was driving. Which don't get me wrong, I was driving like a bitch, I deserved it probably. So I'm waiting there in my car and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh god, this fucking car is gonna tell me some shit, I don't wanna get out of my car, I don't wanna deal with this shit right now. And I'm very like a non-confrontational person, if something pisses me off, I'm just gonna bitch about it at my counseling appointment and then like not confront you unless it's necessary. Like I forgot my check for my co-payment. I pretended like I was on the phone and I ran inside the building <coughs> and as I'm getting out of my car he goes hey hey you kid and I'm like yeah mom I'm here blah 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 like I'm gonna be late I gotta go blah 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 and I'm like pretending like I'm on the phone with my mom even though he he probably knows damn well that I'm not on the phone with anybody so I run inside the building I'm telling the secretary what is what just happened what I just witnessed and how I was a little bit freaked out because to me that's fucking weird like who does that and I can feel this like presence come from like the back of me to like the side of me and I'm just like oh this is not normal you know when someone comes into your bubble and you can just feel and hear them even though they're not making any lo and behold it's fucking Bob he comes so there's like this counter I like rested my arms on there because I'm a midget I'm only 5'2 for those of you who don't know and he sits, he puts his arm and rests just like this, right there, right next to me. And I had almost finished my story with the secretary telling her what was going on. So she kind of was like, okay, this is a little bit weird. Like, why is Michaela getting all uncomfortable right now? And so I was telling her, I had told her everything. I was just about to tell her I left my check in my car and I didn't want to go out by myself to get it. And... He goes, hey you, like just super calm, which to me is fucking weird. Like, I mean, he could have been aggressive, which thankfully he wasn't. And he goes, hey you, do you remember me? And I was like, I'm sorry, sir, do I know you? And I was super calm. I was flipping out on the inside. Like I was like, this motherfucker's gonna kill us all. And like in these appointments, like this isn't something that you wanna bring some ne negativity and like defense feelings you don't want patients to feel that way because there's kids in there that have autism to bring that kind of confrontational persona into the atmosphere is extreme like they're gonna pick up on it their parents are gonna pick up on it apparently the secretary's husband was in the back and was gonna take her to lunch so he came he came out he said you know, the way you were driving out there was super inappropriate and you could have really hurt somebody. And I told him, I was like, you know, sir, I understand the way I was driving wasn't exactly by the book. And I apologize for that. Nobody got hurt. I was just in a rush and I probably shouldn't have been driving like that. But I can assure you that it's not going to happen again because I learned my lesson. You followed me into my appointment. You're fucking freaking me out. No, I'm kidding. I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. And then like her husband comes around. I get I found out after the fact that he was going to take her to lunch. And so he just happened to be there and was like one of the only males on in the building. So he came up behind me and he said, is there a problem, sir? Do I need to call the police? And he was like, no, no, we're just having a little conversation here. There's nothing to be worried about. I'm just letting her know how inappropriate it is for her to be driving like that and how she could have hurt somebody. And he was like, sir, I understand that, you know, you can disagree with how some people drive. 
but it is very inappropriate for you to follow them into their doctor's appointment when they are clearly of a young age and feel the need to tell them off and tell them how they should be driving, how they should not be driving. This isn't a place to be doing that. You know, we have patients here who do not need to be in a confrontational environment, so you need to leave. And he was like, all right, I was just letting her know. And he was like, that's perfectly fine, sir. Actually, it's not, get the fuck out. No, I'm just kidding, he didn't say that. But like, basically that's what he was telling him, like, Kate, get out, there's the exit, goodbye. So then like, the guy starts walking out and he was like, have a nice day, sweetie, I'm sure I'll see you later. And I was like, motherfucker, what does that mean? I was so scared. And so let's name the husband Mike. Mike follows him out, My Mike follows Bob out. Make sure he gets in his car and drives away. He comes back, I call my parents. I was like, mom, dad, I need you to be here ASAP pronto. Well, they showed up, I called the non-emergency line for Idaho, Meridian, Idaho. And so I tell them everything and the officer goes, there is absolutely nothing you can do for people who harass you like that. I mean, technically he didn't really harass me, but he kind of did because he followed me, which is a little bit creepy. But in Idaho, there's this thing, well, I guess all of the United States, there's this thing called freedom of speech. And so technically all he was doing was expressing himself in a very public area. There has to be more levels, there has to be more documentation of them actually stalking you for them to be able to press charges or to do anything. But I was afraid to go to sleep. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to do anything because I was afraid that he was following me still. So for future references, if somebody, if you feel like someone's following you, they probably fucking are. And you should remain calm when speaking to them because they will find you. They will follow you into your doctor's appointment and be a total jackass and scare the shit out of the entire fucking office and make you look like a dumbass. And you should just be super calm when talking to them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you like this video, if you like me, what you want to see next, what you don't want to see next. Um, just be nice because there's no need to be negative. Just be positive. Fix the hair because I got a little upset. <laughs> You're fucking making me mad. I just want to kill you. I don't know how to start this video. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me as a person? I just can't film today. That's what the issue is. I'm just flip them off as they go by like normal people. I don't understand what this whole business is where you're trying to scare people and like scare them straight or fucking explain to them what they did wrong. Like they know what they did wrong. If they didn't, then they fucking would make eye contact with you. But I didn't make eye contact because I knew what I was doing. If you want me to do more story times, because I've had Austin get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> oh my god! You don't understand how many interruptions I've had during this fucking video. I'm sorry. I've had to restart like 500 times. I have a headache just thinking about it. Okay, get out with your cute little earrings. Just be quiet. Yeah, blooper to the max. Fuck man, this whole video is gonna be bloopers. It's not even gonna be fucking video. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was doing my outro. Guys, don't talk. Give me two seconds. Or give me like 30 seconds, okay?